Sir, she was in the garbage. Sir, we were witnessing. They were harassing. They were threatening. And then they didn't have a curtain. One at a time. Sir. Everybody calm down. We're going to try to help you guys figure this out, OK? Yeah. So they have with direct action everywhere. They have rescued this bird that they said they found in the garbage can at a slaughterhouse. We have to give them the opportunity to remedy this any wrongdoing bird. that you may this see them the doing. Okay. So in this instance, I understand it's going to be painful. I'm going to ask you to give the bird back to them. No, we can't and do that, sir. This bird's about to die. I'm I sorry. Know, I know. Yeah. She, you see her eyes. Look at her eyes. She's barely even able to say what it is. Yeah, I understand. She doesn't even have feathers on her. Okay. She's going to be killed. Whether she's killed or not, if that's legal by their business, purview of their thing, we can't just break into their business and take yeah. stuff from them, right? But she was, but she was in the garbage. Yeah. Believe me, I sympathize with you. Yeah. I may even agree with you at an off-duty time when we're at a bar sure, together, but yeah. and now we're yeah. bound by laws and the ability to go into somebody else's place sure. of business and take things out of there yeah. against their will and against the law subjects you to criminal and civil <laughs> prosecution. Not if it's right? a, so. an animal being abused. And I've removed many animals from abusive okay. situations. And if it's an immediate need and okay. the animal needs and medical care. You seem like very reasonable yeah. people. You Thank seem you, like sir. caring people. And I respect you. And I respect what you're trying to Thank accomplish you. here. There are better, more above board, not ambushing a business sure. on a Sunday afternoon type of ways to do this. We called Oakland Animal Services, so this is not okay. an ambush. Okay. And Oakland Animal Services hasn't taken so. action. And animals like this are being thrown so. in garbage cans when they're sick. Good. They, they sit there for sometimes days or weeks of no food or water, and they die of starvation. Or they're eaten alive by other birds in the garbage can. So, so yeah. animals should not be eating each other okay. alive. And this is a danger to my community. We're not going to let anyone yeah. Do you live here? I do. I, I live in Berkeley. We're not going to The local community, so, the Chinatown community, is being threatened by this slaughterhouse. Because okay. they're feeding them food products that are dangerous to them. There are clearly a lot of, yeah. one moment, so there are clearly a lot of layers to this. And this is an ongoing thing that we are coming into very sure. much after the fact, in the moment here, right? Yeah. Uh, I am willing to assist with an investigation into this slaughterhouse and to do what we can from our level on a criminal prosecution standpoint. For sure. However, at this point, I have to maintain that you cannot go against a business's property inside and remove things from there yeah. without some form of legal justification, which you do not have at this moment. Yeah. So you may lose a battle today. Yeah, but you will not necessarily lose the war in the long term. No. She's, okay. she's, she's about, about I see that you are in pain. I understand that. If there's something that maybe we can work out in a one-on-one -on -one manner this between yourself, one-on-one -on -one with the business owner, we can talk about that for today only. Okay. But for right now, we need everybody out of the business. We need all the animals to go back in the business, and from there we can begin a dialogue. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't think we have time. No. We just we we can't, can't let it die. Yeah. We've agreed to give you the animal. Yeah. We just bought it. We're just, we're gonna leave an hour no, later. Okay, I think, I think Freya's willing to be arrested the animal, if she has to. But if you want to arrest someone for taking an animal out of the garbage, I mean, that's your prerogative. I'm not here to arrest anybody. Okay. Obviously, but but no, I mean, we're fine with that. But we have to take it to the vet right now because there's not, there's not an issue. Give me five minutes. Okay. okay. Sir, you can talk to are you the owner? No, no, I'm not the owner. No, customer. No, no, no. I, I was scared. Excuse me, officer. I was scared. I'm with my wife over there. All people just came. No permission, no courtesy, no ask. Hey, who is the owner? Who is the Just like that. Is a harassment. Sure. If you want to go to somebody's property, ask the permission, there's this a way. The you must have a courtesy. You want to introduce yourself. I'm so and so. I think you should have a purpose. Before the animal dies. No, she, I, 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 not quite there. Don't, she's don't she's go. Not quite there. Okay. Don't force the issue, sir, please. Okay. I, I want Officer, they must have a permission to go to somebody's property. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We are not going to have a customer to harass us. We are scared. She was in a trash can. And she's featherless. She's not doing well. Hey, you want to call me because you have some manners? That's all we want to do. Just take care of the person. I understand. Thank you, sir. Have some respect for the officers over there. This is direct action everywhere. But I'm saying something. Are here and this is a confrontation. News media is yeah, yeah, here. Right, right. And yeah, you have no manners, no ideas, and you want to somebody's property? No, no. Why you came over here? Like, why are you harassing us? Why? You don't have a right. And you, 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 have you, guys, you guys have to No, you guys have to listen. You can't do this. You guys have this is not your property. Listen to them. This is not your property. You belong to somebody else. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. You guys have to listen to them. No. What the hell? No. You have no right. They're going to die. I'll just tell you go, what is bad. Go to the homeless the people. They have a children on the street. They're going to do hospitals. She's so scared. Times, I've seen a, a school oh. situation where a dog. Every time she's seen a human. And dehydration. I'm sorry that the animal. Any time she's seen a human. She, it's only been to take her friends, to have her killed. And today's the first time when someone is going to do something good. 
Take her to the vet and the police behind us. You could have called me. I would have come out here by myself to Because they want to protect property. And all we don't do is we're not animals property. No, these animals are not property. She has a breathing heart that's breathing right next to mine. No, sir, I mean, I don't know what's going on. She's not saying that it's illegal to do this to an animal. This is illegal. You can take us to jail for whatever crime you want to charge us. Trying to rescue an animal on animal cruelty laws. The crime here is the animal cruelty laws. She was in conditions which violates California's animal cruelty law. And all we are here to do is something which is legal. Take her to the vet. So will the police listen to your argument that what's being done here is illegal? No, actually, you know, I hope so. I hope so. I sure hope so. We actually can, sir. Three dollars. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. No more animals leave, though. Okay. Let us do this the right way. Okay. You can take the animal, take take her to a car, and hold on. What is the price of my harassment? Um, police just pay for her. So you're going to go to the vet, right? Yes, we're going. We're taking her to the vet. We're going to follow you. Wow. Sir, I'm just going to. Okay. Where's the car? Okay, that's fine. This is extraordinary. You are. I agree. Somebody said that cop is a man. He's. He's a, he's a good cop, and, uh, and you know, they have a tough job, too. Everybody, Animal Agriculture puts everybody we in a tough position. We are taking this little sweetheart, this little angel to the vet, and the moment when police told me that I could not take her, my heart was beating so loud, because once you've, once you've seen where, where animals like her come from, you can't put them back. She's really scared right now, and I just want her to know that she's okay and I want all of you to look at her <clears throat> and I don't know if everyone saw but the police uh, the police officer himself paid the money because he I could tell looking into his eyes said I know I, I feel your pain yes. he paid just so we could take her to the back we're not paying job in this situation and um, compassion knows no uniform yeah compassion is not a crime all right here we go this animal is going right now to a vet. You are seeing, I believe, history in the making. This is um, like the start of a social justice movement. You are seeing uh, what is really an extraordinary moment, an extraordinary moment uh, where peace prevailed in this little animal that has no rights Virtually no rights oh, in this okay. world. Um, okay, sure. Okay, let's go. Are going to, Can going we have to someone else in there? Okay. You're going to the vet. I'm going to go back in. Good luck for you. Okay, wow. Uh, now, the um, this is huge for the cause, David Haro. Um, it's absolutely huge. And uh, you know, I want to compliment. Uh, the police are often very, very good in these situations. At the uh, vigils that we attend in Los Angeles, the Vernon police are wonderful. Many of them express sympathy with our cause because they're about justice. Okay, here we are. Now, we've got another situation going on. So right now, the police are not letting anyone else come in to the facility. We still have about 100 activists, I think, inside. We have red roses for the animals. We're going to tie them on these cages to show them that we love them and that we believe that their lives are important also. So uh, there are some activists on the inside and there are some activists on the outside. I'm with the news media, sir. I'd like to go through if I nope, think. No. Nope. Oh. Everybody needs to leave. Okay. So we're, that's what we're trying to establish right now, okay? So they're not letting uh, media inside so um, anybody who is on the outside here has to stay outside, but there are many activists on the inside who are um, still bearing witness to the animals who are, who are in these cages and who are holding red roses and Offering comfort and bearing witness. This movement is based on the principle of Leo Tolstoy, who said, and there's a actress Alexandra Paul on the inside. Um, Leo Tolstoy said, when you see suffering, you have a moral obligation not to turn away, but to bear witness. And that's what these folks are doing. 
And we do have a correspondent on the inside, Danny Rukin, who is there, who is going to catch the action on the inside and bring it to us, depending on what happens. I can zoom in a little bit and show. Um, remember, there's a sizable group of, uh, of activists who are still inside. And, uh, and those folks are, are not leaving. Um, so all of these folks inside, we don't know what's going to happen with them. And uh, what we want you to do is call Oakland Animal Services. Call Oakland Animal Services. Tell them that you saw animal cruelty. You can see it on this video. There's animals dying in garbage cans. The floor is covered in blood and feces. Tell them that they need to come and seize all of these animals because what's happening right here is illegal. So please make the call. Keep following this. Share this live stream. But there are folks who are on the inside. They are um, protesters and demonstrators with direct action everywhere. No hate for the workers. No hate for their customers. We don't. We don't want them to lose their jobs. We just want them to do something that, that doesn't. That guy go in. He's a customer. He doesn't. Uh, he's not. He doesn't own the place. He's a customer. Say again. That gentleman who just walked in. He's a customer. He's not an owner. today over 200 what's the number to call it is in the direct action everywhere live stream description I don't know it off the top of my head but if you go to direct action everywhere we're live streaming also and the number Facebook direct action everywhere yes. we'll have the live stream it's live stream the number is in the description Oakland Animal Services Rhea. Oakland Animal Services is the number to call Rhea. she is gone she took the uh, bird the to the vet so you're not letting anyone else just nope. to film? That's press. Is that other bodies on a hot press? No. I talked to, I, listen, I talked, this is private property, listen to what I'm saying. This is private property, and they're asking everybody to disperse, okay? That's a legal thing, okay? This is trespassing if we let anybody else in, all right? So and they're covering the story. Media does not count on private property, ma'am. I'd hate people. Zoe, she should go with, uh, you know who she, who she should go with. This is Wayne Shum. It's Shiki and Paula, okay? Thank you. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. The rest of us, there are a few of us who will stay inside to ensure the animals are well prepared. Okay? So, if you have not been prepared... That needs to be out of my face, man. Thank you. What's running through you right now? So many emotions. Like, I don't understand how people can do this to animals. <laughs> it's not okay. And again, the people here who are protesting have absolutely nothing against the workers here. They realize they're just doing their jobs. 
it's truly a consumer issue. The people who buy this food unthinkingly ordering chicken at a fast food restaurant or picking up a slice of chicken or chicken breast, not realizing it was connected to an animal who was an individual. Those are the people who really were asking them to think. So many people crying as they leave here. What, what's going through you? I just, um, I wish that we could see all these animals as as equal to us. There's no reason to cause suffering. There's so many other things it can do that does not involve harming other animals. And uh, that's it. I just want, I just, Thank you, thank you. So a lot of people crying as they walk out. Um, some of the people are probably going to be arrested in there, very likely. Um, they have remained. Extremely dramatic. Um, is this, do you work here? Do you live, are you the owner? No, I'm the... Customer here, buy my eggs. Okay. Buy my eggs. All right. Yeah, okay. you have a question? Well, I'm not sure. No, I'm you have a question. I can answer I, you. Well, I answer. I, I see I'm against of totally that you guys doing here something like this wrong. You million, million chickens on the Costco, Safeway, all over. They, they protest at Costco too. It's not good to get inside of somebody's business like this. Well, they're saying it's not good to have animals suffer and die for... No, this guy have a license from city of, uh, county of Alameda. Say, what would you say that... Uh, you guys, you guys not listening to the law. That are, that are you're not obeying the law. You're, you're not obeying the law. have come outside now. You guys making All of these red flowers. Law. And, um... Yes, when so when the law when the law is unjust, we have a moral obligation to break those unjust laws. That's how things change. Unjust laws. Everybody, just go back a little bit, please. Thank you. remain and uh, we'll have to see what happens to them. And here there is this huge outpouring of compassion as these, as these folks gather to say stop eating animals. I mean if that was is that the one message? Yeah to stop eating animals and to have more compassion and love for everyone in the world. Stop using animals altogether. What? Stop using animals altogether. What's your what's the message? Stop the torture, stop the exploitation. The needless exploitation of death. Live by the golden rule? What? I'd say definitely learn to live by the golden rule. Instead of just saying so, walking the walk, we need instead of talking the talk, we need to walk the walk. Live by the golden rule. Treat others as we would want to be treated. This is a movement, thank you. You're welcome. This is a movement that is in its infancy, but it is going, I believe, I'm very convinced that it's going to be the social justice movement of the 21st century. We're just seeing the start of it. Um, this is a massive crowd gathered here at this slaughterhouse. We are asking the owners of this uh, slaughterhouse to relinquish all of the animals to Oakland Animal Services. Wayne Chung is in the white shirt talking to police. He is the head of Direct Action Everywhere. He is also an attorney, and he has basically coined the whole concept of open rescue, that when you see animals suffering, uh, dying, that there is not only a moral obligation but a legal right to take so, them, and that is part of the argument that he's we having have Jane, right now. Jane Blasmitch, also live streaming right now. For those of you who are just joining us, please share this video. And right now, we'll be at the we're at is uh, Saba Live Poultry in Oakland, California, a slaughterhouse that kills hundreds, thousands of animals every day rabbits, goats, lambs, chickens, quail. And we, I've seen footage from inside of this facility. Um, animals are not only 
we saw what appeared to be sort of dead chickens um, and chickens that were distressed in the cages inside here. We invite the owner of the slaughterhouse on any time. They called the police. There was an argument. Um, and the, some of the customers who were here to buy uh, eggs and animals uh, defended the, uh, the slaughterhouse and said these people have no right. This don't person. take any pictures of mine without my permission, please, morally. I don't allow it. We have all these people, all these people bearing witness here. Um, and as you see, the flowers, the peace signs, like, we don't have hate for the workers here. We don't have hate. What's for running through you right now? I just keep thinking about the eye contact that I made with those birds, and it's just heartbreaking that I can't take them out. Yeah. You feel helpless? I feel helpless, yeah. But they did take out oh, three animals. Yeah, that's what we should focus on not right now. It's just very sad that some of them would never feel the grass under their feet or see the sunlight. It's just heartbreaking. baby sheep a baby sheep yes a baby sheep it's so nice so sweet yeah I managed to rescue one animal and I'm so happy that I achieved something today yeah I managed to save a life but also I saw such horrible things I saw birds ripped apart their their organs were like torn apart yes and thrown all over the floor yes floor and into the garbage that was so horrible why did I can't you come here today I wanted to see what's going on here. I want to see what the conditions are. You now I heard horrible things about this place. See for yourself. See for myself to see it's, whether it's good or as bad. I heard it is, and it's horrible. It's not a good place. No one should be in this place. What would you say to once again? We, inv we invite um, the owners of this facility on any time. We will, we will come in. You see there's a huge police presence now as Wayne, who is in the white shirt, Wayne Chung is the head of direct action everywhere, talks to the police. And um, he is also an attorney. They were shaking their, you know, some of them were defecating because they're so scared. Every interaction they've had with a human is horrible. And that is the best case scenario. This place is the best case scenario. Um, so, you know, this is not about uh, halal or not halal. This is about violence towards animals. And it's happening everywhere. Um, and we're asking everyone, you know, on live stream over here, and even even the police officers, who to, 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 to bear witness to the atrocities that are happening. And um, if you look at these animals, you don't want to hurt them. I don't think anybody wants to hurt these animals. We're asking public officials of, of Oakland, of Berkeley, take a stand. Wayne, you guys, could this good? Wayne, Wayne, hold on, we're trying to close the door. We're trying to close the door. Everybody back up. Okay. Back, please. Close the door. 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 Close
help them get these animals to shelters. They don't belong here. And we all know, whether it's public officials or anyone else, you don't want to support the slaughter of these animals. You don't want to hurt these animals. None of us want to hurt animals any more than we would our dogs and cats. And we all know that, that's, that's, that dogs and cats at home, we love them and we love these animals the same. So please, um, you know, ask, we're asking all public officials the, um, to, to, take a, to take action. At the heart of this argument is, are these individuals property alone, or are they beings who deserve to be protected from uh, illness and being kept in a cage where they can't even stand up, which we saw. Mm -hmm. We saw animals being pecked by other animals, animals who were bloodied. We saw that on videotape. So the question is, is there no protection for them? There's nothing that can be done. They are mere property, and if you take them away, then you're wrong, not the person who allowed or the institution that allowed um, this animal to suffer. Is that what, what society has become? You know, women used to be property, um, and that changed. And animals right now are property, non human animals are property, and we're here to challenge that. And we feel like there are laws that are unjust and we're here to defy those laws, and there are activists inside who are doing that. And right now, we're gonna, we're gonna sing. while they're alive, I mean, that's not acceptable. But the officers are working with us. They say they're going to investigate the animal culture. But... Thank you. And Shung, the head of direct action ever, were being arrested right now by Oakland police yes. yeah, for trying to rescue injured animals yeah. inside a slaughterhouse. <laughs> Wayne Chung is an attorney. And he is a premier animal activist in the United States today. Anything you want to say? Just that I hope that people around the world recognize what's happening to animals in these slaughterhouses. I mean, it's disgusting things. And there's, this is criminal animal cruelty in California. Uh, we need you to take a step back. Back up a little bit. Back, back up a little bit. What would you like to say, Wayne? Back up a little bit. Just that I hope everyone recognizes. There you go. There you go. Just back up a little bit. That's all we have. Yeah. Yeah. Back up a little bit and you don't know, have no problem for me. Yeah. I hope this is a government that acts in accordance with California law by seizing the You know, there are many of us who are prepared to get arrested. There you go. Like everybody else. And also to take all the animals to shelter where they can live out their lives in peace. So. Do you know what you're being charged with? What are you being charged with, Wayne? being charged with? We don't know. We don't know. What was it that they said that, that made you be the one as opposed to everybody else? Everyone's going to be arrested, I think. So, but the, you know, the issue here is, the issue here is basically that they can't. So they say they can't take them to animal services because the animals are property. Not the problem. We have a whole slew of media here as this budding, budding movement takes off. 
and you are watching a moment in history. A man who is going to be arrested because he wanted to save some injured animals. This is the animal liberation movement and it's happening now.